and the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve, and as they did eat, he said, Worldly I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? Hi, I'm Supanat Pombasud, and this is TU110 Group Project. And I'll be explaining about the Last Supper of Leonardo da Vinci. There are many interesting questions that occurred after this painting was put into public, which leads into many theories. But what was this painting really depict? The Last Supper is a situation before Jesus Christ's crucifixion. And so, Jesus ordered two of his disciples to set up a specific place for his last Passover meal. And so while they were having a dinner, he mentioned out that one of them will betray him. But of course, all of them rejected. Even though Jesus knew what was coming the next day, he still watched the disciples' foot which represent they are all equal in Christ's thought. And then Jesus showed a piece of bread and a glass of wine and said that to these two things represent his body and his blood, which mean that he donated his life to save all the people. Later on, they sung the rhythm together and then they went to Mount of Olives. Subject of the Last Supper Christ's final meal with his apostles Point of interest Even though Judas was a betrayal, Da Vinci still painted him in the Passover meal. In terms of bread and wine, it can divide to three views. The first view, bread and wine, represents actual Jesus' body and blood, which is called transubstantiation. And the second view, bread and wine, represents body and blood of Jesus in his memorial to his sacrifice. And the third, which is the last view, bread and wine, represents faith to the spiritual. Due to Jewish tradition, the four cups of wine represents four expressions, such as a cup of sanctification, a cup of redemption, a cup of judgment, and last one, a cup of kingdom, respectively. At the time, there was tradition of painting a lamb blood on the door to avoid the plague. In terms of the Last Supper, Jesus compared himself as a Passover Lamb of God, and His blood is the tool for opening to the freedom. From the event that Jesus and His disciples was dining together, it leads to the instruction on how to drink and eat in our days, and also it was occurred the first ritual Eucharist. for reflection. Among Da Vinci's wonderful works, the Last Supper is the most popular artwork. Posters and reproductions are hanged around the world such as holy institutions, churches, museums, and homes for inspiring those of people who adore artwork. Actually, most of Da Vinci's work are long living except the Last Supper. Early 16th century, the painting started fading. Its condition had been depreciated by dust, humidity, and poor restoration. Moreover, the depreciated causes in last recent years are a bomb during the World War II destroying some part of the factory on 16 August 1943, and air pollution on Milan post-war and also tourists. Even though many restorations have conserved it, many people still said that the paint has been repainted more than restored, and in the case such as around 1652. 
an unknown German vandal inserted a door in the middle at the bottom of the picture where Leonardo da Vinci had painted Jesus' feet. After that, the first restoration occurred in 1726, but the most vast restoration is the latest time which was a long last period since 1977 and 1999. Only 42.5% of the surface is Leonardo's work. The rest are 17.5% and 40%. Loss and the additions of the previous restorers respectively. The reason why the painting is not stable because Da Vinci used a new method to have more time in painting and reproducing his vision instead of the old way that have to be continuously in a short time. Because of a determine of Leonardo, prior method used dried plaster covered all over the wall in a double layer then he wanted to prove the brightness of the oil and tempera, so adding more the white shape on the top. This new technique made greater chromatic brilliance and precision, but due to a thin covering at first, it was affected by humidity. Later on, it was not stick on the wall. Even though how poor technique he painted, the Last Supper is still the greatest masterpiece of his work of all time. Leonardo was ordered to draw this paint Last Supper by his patron, Duke Ludovico Sforza, and his duchess, Beatrice d'Este. And the Last Supper was really famous artwork in Italy, and later on it was reproduced to be a poster. And in the convent Santa Maria del, where the paint was kept, they allowed only 20 people to view this image at the same time. And also, one group can view the image only 15 minutes. Therefore, to be able to look at this image, you have to reserve the ticket before. According to the Last Supper, it can be obviously implied that Leonardo depicts this painting in the left side more information than in the right side, because he is right dominated. Moreover, his style of painting can be referred from the picture that he is left handed due to the way he draws a stroke which tend to be from from the left to right. Anyway. In terms of its balance, it can be divided to two types. Firstly, breast of the Christ was focused to be the main of the picture. Secondly, the ratio of the picture was called golden section. It can be proved that if you look at this paint from the Christ to the group of Judas, the left side of the picture, the ratio between the combined of Christ and group of Judas, and Christ will be equal to the proportion between Christ and group of Judas. Another outstanding point is all the ratio of this picture is equal to 1.618. Last Supper is Leonardo's ritual interpretation of an event that occurred in the evening before Jesus Christ was crucified in all four of the Gospels. It depicts the react of all twelve disciples after Christ said that one of you will betray me. And there are many different degrees of reaction which we can see from the picture like horror, anger, and shock. To understand this clearly, we have to explain you, each person from left to right. Bartholomew, James Minor, and Andrew are stunned what Jesus said. All of them are horrified. Andrew was pointing his hand like a stop sign. Judas, Peter, and John, the next group that sat next to Jesus, as you can see, Judas, the left side of this group, was hiding his face in shadow and clutched a small bag, which was assumed that there was a silver that he has already received for betraying Christ. That is, the next day he is a man who kissed Christ to an identified soldier to arrest him. Moreover, the gesture of Judas that pulled the body back was implied that he was surprised that why Christ know. In contrast with Peter, he was obviously furious and tried to protect Christ by being seen that he held the knife and asked John that who he says it is. While John leans toward him to hear what he says, however, some sources refer that John was swooned once that Jesus said, One of you will betray me. Christ looked sad but calm in the middle of disciples. Farmers, James Major and Philip are the group that sat next to Christ on the left hand side. Thomas, who was pointing the figure up and acts as he was moody. However, his hand which put on the table between James and Philip seems to find something. 
James Major put his hand outward and looked surprised like how could it be, while his eyes looked at Jesus' left hand. On the other side, Philip is pointing inward, seems to be seeking the answer. Could it be me that betray you? Matthew, Thaddeus and Simon, the last group in the right side, seem to discuss what Christ said. It appears that Matthew and Thaddeus tried to ask Simon that whether he can explain about what Christ said or not. Iconography. In the Last Supper, is full with a mention of symbolic way. If we want to understand this picture, we have to read this iconography. An equilateral triangle formed by Christ's body, which is held by ballads of composition. He was below the pediment, and he can enclose the triangle by tracing the circle. These forms of geometry tells that Renaissance is interested in Neoplatonism. An ancient Greek philosopher gives important defect of our world as stated in Allegory of the Cave. And the style of geometry that Leonardo used is to refer to Christ. Neoplatonism made ancient Greek philosopher blend with Christian theology. I understand that it is a paradise because Leonardo has provided a large landscape above the window. Therefore, many people say that each at the sanctum, it is only through Christ. The number three is always related to the Holy Trinity in Catholic art, and so the twelve disciples are distributed out into a group of three. Also, there are three windows as well. In the opposite, the number four is important in the classical condition. Of course, there are many Last Supper paintings, but not even one was as famous as Leonardo's. What was it that made his painting such a masterpiece then? Normally, the audience would easily spot who is Judas in the painting, but not for Leonardo's painting. Leonardo included Judas, which the rest of the disciples, while others at the time, chose to separate him from the group. First work of Dacio, 1308-1351, the painting was contained of Jesus and twelve apostles politely seated in their chairs around the table which was contrast to the fact that they just heard the news of Jesus' coming betrayal. Secondly, Domenico Gerlandio, 1480, he painted everyone seated on the side of the table and Judas seated on the opposite side alone. However, Dacio's work was more reasonable even though some of the apostles were painted in the shadow which was harder to specify character. For Leonardo's painting, the audience were forced to scan each disciples one by one to see who is Judas. The audience have to guess by looking at their reaction after Christ's word. Moreover, as you are scanning through the painting, you would find that the disciples were all displayed very emotional and human-like. Leonardo depicted the real people reaction. This can be seen obviously when compared his work to others. Another reason that made Last Supper to be well known around the world is Leonardo's technical perspective. And in the painting, one point perspective is the greatest example. As every single element in his painting directs attention to Jesus' head, which is the midpoint of the composition. Okay, the whole thing doesn't represent the good portrait. That's for sure. Because he, he forced us to look up there, okay? So the painting then, it is not about self, but it is not about the good portrait. What is it about? What do you think the conversa conversation is all about? Oh, it's very no, the whole overall conversation. It's 
sebab apa ya Ya buat sate So that's what pain was all about. I don't know what's up there, I don't know what they're talking about, but I don't know what they're talking about there. Good enough? Make you think. <laughs> right? So it's all about up there. So what do you, what do you think about up there, you know? So you, so you must talk about what? Lucifer? <laughs> right? No, we just talk about God or something. I don't know. But what, <clears throat> what are they they're talking about? It's about that. About things about be betrayal and things like that. I don't I don't know I have to look at it real close. But to me as as the whole First of all, it's not about good portrait. Second of all, they're talking about the whole overall conversation is about up there. We pointed out right from the very beginning that it's unusual for a painting, for, for, for an artist to force the eye of the view to go up. It's unnatural. We proved that, right? Again, so, it, so it's not, it's about the conversation about up there. So we might say that the painting is about the conversation. It's not about the, each individual character per se. Because he didn't, he didn't really zoom in to any figure or anything like that. Even we don't really look, look at Christ. We don't even look at, at Christ directly. เป็นครูสอนชั้นผู้เชื่อใหม่ที่ที่จะเป็นศักดิ์ในวิชาวางรากฐานศักดิ์ก็จะเป็นเกี่ยวกับเรื่องความเชื่อของคริสเตียนเ